these markings and objects that were created over thousands of years are actually manifestations of those relationships. Mm. So that's what I'm feeling very strongly with this. And I'm just wondering, does that make sense to you? Yeah, certainly. Like, I, I guess sort of like that, that time and space and, and um, association certainly kind of connects me with that. And yeah, and I, I guess that this, in terms of time and space, again, just reinforcing that idea that this, you know, people are kind of asking me, oh, you know, when's Chico's Angel finished? You know, when are we going to get to see it finished and stuff like that? And I actually have no desire really to, you know, fast pace it and finish this off. This is something definitely sort of it has a certain amount of therapy, therapeutic value for me. I come out here and I might do an hour or two a week. I try and come back to it quite often. I kind of, you know, I think it's important to sort of continue on that process and that making and that experience of of um, manipulation and, and of this material. Um, but um, yeah, I, I guess for finished pieces, I, I like to see things finished because I think it's really important to, to actually finish a piece totally so that then you can sort of move on with the other one. If, it's, if you never finish your piece, then uh, it's really hard to sort of respond to it and reflect on it in terms of getting another idea or another surface quality without fully exploring and it sort of, yeah, revealing that and sitting with it for a while. For me, um, you know, a piece won't really communicate all of its values straight away. So that idea of sitting with a piece and contemplating uh, is is a really important thing for me. So I am not worried about the cracks and the imperfections in this work. Uh, you know, a lot of people are into sort of that fine, smooth surface, crack-free uh, sort of concept or idea. For me, the cracking, it's it kind of represents the flaws in all of us, all of the vulnerabilities and and places of navigation. So whether it be, you know, a scarification, a mark on the body, or whether it be, uh, you know, it's a, it's a mark in history that we kind of wear these sort of marks. Um, so I see it as sort of, uh, as a body, marking as well, very much so. Um.